An own goal by Michael Keane proved the difference as Tottenham Hotspur beats Vistas Everton 1 0 in a clash on Monday to move up to eighth in the standings and hand manager Jose Mourinho a 200 Premier League win. Defeat would have dropped Spurs below the Vistas into the bottom half of the table, but they won fairly comfortably to stretch their unbeaten league run uh, versus Everton to 15 games. Spurs keeper Hugo Lloris was hardly tested, although he was involved in the night's uh, flashpoint, having a furious role with teammate Son Heung-min as the players walked off at halftime. Tottenham have 48 points from 33 games, one behind Arsenal, at nine adrift of fourth placed Chelsea. Everton's first defeat since the resumption of the season left them at 11th point. Now, to take a look at why Africa footballers do break even on time in top clubs is in Europe is Amos Joseph, a journalist and founder of Footballers Connect Initiative. Good to have you, Joseph. Yes, good morning. Uh Good to be here on TV this morning again. Right. Why do you, why do African footballers find it difficult to break into top clubs in Europe? What's stopping them? Uh, reality is that um, our football may not be top notch as compared with that of Europe. Now, if you look at players who are broken into the leagues in uh, in the top leagues say, the English Premier League, the German Bundesliga, or the French Championnaire. These players have played in other countries, such as Norway, they played in Sweden, they either played in uh, maybe Latvia or Croatia. But what you find uh, these days is that you find our players going to club countries like Latvia, Venezuela, and all those obscure countries. Mm. But what we can do to salvage this situation is for us to ensure that we develop our own leagues, develop football at the grassroots level, and then we we'll, would we'll, we'll start signing the top leagues again. Right. Take a look at what is happening uh, with regards to Victor Osime. You know, everybody is happy, the journalists are happy because there's something to talk about. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that now that he's about uh, making big money from France, wouldn't that be an inspiration, so to speak? Yeah, the reality is that uh, once there is a player that moves, especially from Nigeria, it becomes a touchlight to the nation, right? Every agent abroad begins to look at Nigeria and say, oh, there seems to be something important going on in that country. Let us go to Nigeria, let us see what's going on. And then they begin to take a good look into our lower cadres, how we can develop. Now, look at Victor Osime. He didn't just break into the top level. You know, right. he moved to Belgium, he moved to other parts of the other parts of Europe before making a move to Lille, and then Napoli is interested. Mm. All right, let's Napoli. Liverpool is interested. Other clubs we also we also heard that they are interested. Just before I let you go, um, I mean, you are the founder of uh, Footballers Connect Initiative. Uh, what, what can be done to ensure that talents spotted in Nigeria can grow and become big again in Europe? What do we need to do? It is simple. Football development. What are our, our administrators doing? In terms of getting them from the lower division, making sure that you're catching them young, putting them through the right developmental stages. We just don't want to win competitions, but we want our players to develop so that when they leave Africa, they go sign Chelsea, they go sign Liverpool, they go sign PSG. That is what we want to see. Mm -hmm. And the only way that can be made possible is when we check our grassroots and then ensure that we are doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. But do you think that having people like this who have made it, so to say, uh, abroad, coming back to mentor younger ones in Nigeria would make any difference uh, whatsoever? So I was speaking with um, one of Nigeria International who plays for Union Berlin. And he told me something. He said he was confronted with a situation where he has to move to Europe without having to sign anything with anybody. You know, what these players owe 
the grassroots players right now is to come back to Nigeria, begin to motivate them, tell them how it is, which is why we set up Footballers Connect. Mm -hmm. Ensure that you're talking to the players constantly. Because if you look at the technology industry, these guys mentor upcoming tech, tech guys. Now, in the football world or sport, this is not the case. Right. What we should be doing is to encourage footballers, tell them what they will pass through, what the hurdles are, how they will get to the top, what kind of character is expected of them. Mm. This is what we should be saying. Right. The likes of Onazi, the likes of um, John Mikel will be, you know, this is what we expect them to be doing. Right. Amos Joseph, thank you so very much for your contributions and do keep safe out there. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, thank you. Thank you.